if one of the two electrons of H2 molecule is removed, we got a hydrogen molecular ion. In the ground state of H2 plus ion, the two protons are separated by roughly 1.5 angstrom and the electron is roughly 1 angstrom from each proton. Determine the potential energy of the system. Specify your choice of the zero potential energy. So according to given problem, the hydrogen H2 so they have taken out one electron removed removed electron if it removed electrons it will becomes H2 plus so in that H2 plus two are the protons one hydrogen one hydrogen so this is H and this is also H and one electron so here I can take that as an electron and they gave the distance between two protons the distance between the two protons which approximately roughly equal to 1.5 Armstrong and the distance between proton to electron so it is roughly 1 Armstrong So this is also gives one Armstrong. Now we need to find the potential energy of the system. So the potential energy of this system: three charges, two positive charge and one negative charge. So if it is a hydrogen having one proton, so the proton having positive charge and the electron having negative charge now if we can write that first charge of electron which equal to negative 1.6 times 10 power minus 19 coulomb charge of proton which equal to positive 1.6 times 10 power minus 19 coulomb and we need to calculate the potential energy of system since it's a three charges if we can remember we derived the same potential energy of the three charges if q1 q2 q3 are the distances so i can take this as q1 and q2 and q3 and this distance is r12 and r13 and r23 the total potential energy equal to K Q1 Q2 by R12 plus K Q1 Q2 by R23 plus K Q2 Q3 upon R23. So here we can change this as R13 and R13. So K Q1 Q3 by R13. So we need to calculate the total potential energy by using this formula exactly as at here. Say we know the Q1 Q2 is nothing but one is a proton, one is electron, and R1 to R13 are nothing but the distances between them. Now where should I consider the zero potential? So I want to calculate the potential at here. So I need to consider they are asking specify your choice of zero potential energy. So let us consider the zero potential energy at infinity. Consider zero potential energy at infinity. So therefore the total potential energy of system u equal to I can write that potential energy due to first charge plus potential energy due to second charge and potential energy due to third charge. So we can substitute that in that given problem, given formula. So potential energy u equal to k times.
so here the q1 i can take this proton and in the q2 i take as another proton so i can write that as so proton having positive charge so i can write e plus of e plus upon the distance equal to 1.5 armstrong plus for the second charge it's k times one is a proton so e plus and another one is you now electron e minus upon one m strong and third is as like same so k times one is proton and one is electron upon one m strong now for the simplification how we consider that since the magnitude of proton and the magnitude of electron is same so i can take that their magnitude as e plus equal to positive charge and e minus equal to negative charge instead of substituting the values at there so if we can substitute that charges and later we can substitute their quantities so i can take that u equal to k times to get the common i can get it as first q times q upon 1.5 armstrong in the second term that is k times positive q and negative q upon 1 armstrong last one same k times one is positive q and one is negative q upon one armstrong so now it's our time to simplify so these two terms we can add since they both are having same magnitude so k okay, q square so better not to write q square may that makes you diff so i can write separately 1.5 whole square so plus this is a 2 times k plus q and minus q upon 1 armstrong now you can pull the common factor so here the common factor is u equal to k q square is a common so if the k q square is common in the denominator i will get 1.5 armstrong and at here the negative sign will become on the numerator divided by 2 over 1 armstrong now we know the value of the armstrong so he u equal to k value first let me take this as it is k q square upon so 1 armstrong equal to 10 power minus 10 so 1 over 1.5 times 10 power minus 10 minus 2 over 1 times 10 power minus 10 so that's the value of the armstrong now i can pull armstrong from the denominator so k q square upon 10 power minus 10 so 1 over 1.5 minus 2 so we can do the LCM and we can get that value as u equal to now here we can substitute the all the values k value so 9 times 10 power 9 and the q is magnitude of the charge so I have taken 1.6 times 10 power minus 19 whole square upon m strong value 10 power minus 10 if we can do the LCM at here by taking that that you will get the minus 4 over 3 so the total is potential energy we can get that value as a joule so we can do the calculation so if we can do the calculations we can end up with minus 19.2 electron volt
here the value is given in terms of the electron volt so we need to convert the result in terms of the joules to electron volt so one electron volt equal to 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 joule so what the answer comes in the above step so that you can divide with 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 so that we can get in terms of the electron volt